seven students from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas School whose lives go on but are forever shaped by the pain they endured the other day, seeing their friends fall next to them, having to now go on without those friends, but within that pain, also the strength they are now finding to carry on with new voices about issues of suddenly prime concern to them. And for more on that, Andrew Lofholm has our story. In a year from now, or 20 years from now, 30 years from now, how do you want people to look back at that Wednesday, February 14, 2018? I want, yeah, everything. I want, want people them to, to look at it as a statistic. I want people to see this as the last one. I want people to look back at that day and smile because that was the end. These are seven faces of survival, family, and ultimately, they hope, change. If there's anyone who's going to change the outcome of these situations, it's going to be Parkland. Seven Douglas High School seniors at their friend Kane DeLima's house. Yeah, it's tough when you're by yourself, so... When they're all together, you know, it kind of gets your mind off of it. Tonight, they're freshly blonde for their friend and victim, Joaquin Oliver. His favorite artist was Frank Ocean, and when he dropped his album Blonde, it was around that time Joaquin dyed his hair like this color. He was at everyone's sporting events, too. Joaquin was everyone's friend. Volleyball, hockey, baseball, lacrosse, basketball. Lacrosse. That kid didn't know a single thing about lacrosse, and he was out there screaming like he's been playing it for the last 18 years. On Wednesday, they grew up fast. A race for maturity that no one ever really told us there was going to be a starting line or a starting gun, and they just expected us to go. First, they will grieve. They have 17 funerals to attend. When the time's right, perpetuate change. An assault rifle, that's a weapon made with intent to murder and harm people. So once we feel ready, we're going to make our voice heard that our platform is built upon making sure weapons like these can't get in the hands of people again. Andrew Lofholm reporting. Two and a half days now, nearly 60 hours since shots rang out at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, ending the promise of 17 lives. But for those who go on, the promise now that they will make sure their friends, their loved ones are always remembered and they will continue to be the voice for those who no longer have one. Reporting from outside the Broward County Sheriff's Office, I'm Michael Williams. Now back to you, Kelly.